Oh my God. So I had a video recorded earlier, but I didn't have enough time, so it shut down on me. So this is a, a take two. So I, um, you know, I looked up the topic, what's in my caddy. And surprisingly, there were actually search results for it, but mainly it was like, what's in my shower caddy. I wanted to do what's in my hairstylist caddy. Um, and of course, um, huh. Of course, there's some things I wish I had in my caddy from the salon that I wish I had here and vice versa. But anyway, just going to show you what I have in mind, that part. So, oh, my hair's not looking cute. So anyway, this is uh, the caddy I got. It's, a, it's It was from Sally. Sally's. It was from Ulta. Um, it was on sale uh, for $10. So, holla. Of course, I know it's pink, but whatever. I'm just living that legally blonde life. So... It has four pop, four little pockets on the sides, two here and two here. This shit's gonna come off. And of course, we have the bigger ones. This one doesn't have any pockets in it, but this one does. I don't know if you could see that. We'll get more into depth later where the brushes are. See right there? Okay. So first, I'm gonna start off with the little pockets, what I got. So I'm gonna start with the one right here. So, sorry, this thing gets full. Okay, so what I have in here is, um, oh, I have two measuring cups. Um, they're of course when you when you buy the the twenty dollar or twenty four dollars, um, the big bag of bleach, um, not the packets but the big buckets. Um, they usually come in these. So free things for you. Um, I also have a bra a bracelet my friend gave me. Um, she gave it to me when she was like cleaning out her stuff. Um, I have a little mirror that my edu one of my educators gave me. I think it's so cute. Look, mm, can I see myself? Hey, right there. Okay, I have that. And I have my texturizing shears. Um, I'm not sure how many, what the teeth on this is. But yeah, these were my mom's in the 90s. Because my mom went to beauty school, but she never actually pursued a uh, higher stylist career. And of course, these were my mom's as well. Um, these are another pair of cutting shears. And then, of course, the one next to it right here, it's legit just shower caps because I use it to, um, when I lighten my hair, I use it to keep the heat in. And also, I just use it in the shower because I don't want to get my hair wet because um that blonde life, though. Let me, like, stuff it in there. Okay, there we go. So, anyway, now time to get to the pocket right here. Right here. Finger. Just kidding. Okay, so what I have here is... um. Wow, I have just a bunch of clips, 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 and more clips. Um, I typically don't use these just because um, they're for more like finer hair texture. And if you look at my hair, yeah, it's not really gonna stay. So I have all these clips right here, and also I also have um, two sample sizes of the Veda Smooth Infusion Naturally Straight. Um, they gave this to me when I um, signed up to get to go into school. So yeah, they gave me that. That was nice of them. And in this pocket here, I have brushes, brushes, and brushes. Um, so I have this brush. My educator gave me this brush. It's a soft bristle brush. And then I also have this one, which is also a soft bristle brush. Um, I think my educator gave me this as well. One of my favorites. Um, I have this, it's kind of on the, it's kind of in the middle, you know, it's kind of hard, but kind of soft at the same time. I got this at, um, they gave this to me at a job fair at Hair Cuttery, thanks Hair Cuttery. I bought this at Sally's, which I don't normally use just because, like I said, um, I would definitely suggest to invest in a soft bristle brush and a, than a um, hard bristle brush. Um, you could definitely tell the difference. And the difference between the two is that, um, you know, because people are probably like, a brush is a brush. Actually, it's not, because... With the soft bristle brushes, it tends not to feather the hair out when you're working with it. So with this, it tends to feather the hair out. So of course, when you're bleaching your hair, it's not good if you have little pieces that are still blonde because that used to happen to me all the time with, with these type of brushes. But now I use this one. And oh my God, it works wonders. Like I can legit just put my put my hair through it and it will not like grab onto the, to the bristles, which I love. And now this. This is something, this brush I don't normally use. I've never used this brush because when you do highlights, it's um, the way I was taught to do highlights. It's, um, you know, you have the comb in your hand with this 
the metal, you you grab the hair and then you still have the comb in your hand, then you and then you grab your brush with the comb in your hand and then you paint on the highlights. This is supposed to be so you don't have to use the comb because it already has this installed so you could just use this one item instead of holding two. I've gotten so used to using the comb and the brush that I never put my comb down by the way. But I've gotten so used to using the like a comb like a comb and having the brush at the same time and then putting the, the brush down and having the comb in my hand. It I try to use it just like this and it's so it it feels so weird to me. Like it feels so bizarre. And um yeah, it's yeah, I'm just not used to this. If I was probably exposed to this first, I could probably get used to it. But of course when you're taught a certain way, it's kinda of hard to break out of that habit. So yeah. My doggy wants to go up. Okay. Anyway. So now, time to get to the bigger pockets. We're going to get to this one first. This mainly has all my styling tools and stuff like that. So the first thing I have is my um, blow dryer. My sister gave me this, actually. Um, I don't really know how to style that well with this. Um, I norm I usually just use it to just dry my hair. And I, I don't normally use it because I don't... I don't normally blow dry my hair. I usually air dry it um, just because since my hair is blonde, I don't want to dry it out more than it already is. Um, so I also have um, my straightener. I've had this for about three to four, three years, I think. Yeah, I've had this for about three years. Like I said, this is the one I got at Target. Um, it was like $20. I did a review on that. And of course, I have the one that my sister gave me. Of course, I, this still, needs some, I still need to get used to this. Just because, um, yeah. And I know this is expensive, so I have to get used to it. Like, I don't know. Like, my sister said it, it works well on her hair, but me and her have different hair densities. So maybe, I don't know if that's the reason why. Oh, I'm getting hot. I'm going to put my hair up. Okay. I don't know why, but just talking makes me all sweaty. I'm going to get that man bun going on. Sorry, are men's buns out of style? I fucking wear them. Well, now that I have hair to put it up because before my hair would be too short where the pieces in the front would always like fall this way so I had to like use bobby pins. So now I have a nice man bun going on. The other thing I have are these perm rods. I have them in, I actually have used them. Of course, I don't put the perm solution on but I use them and they do create a very beautiful curl actually. So I have them in four colors. I have them in yellow and peach. These were the ones that my mom had in the 90s. So I, I got these from her. And I bought these at Sally's, which are a pink rod and a blue rod. And the thing is, is that <clears throat> I should have probably bought bigger perm rods just because when I do wear these, it doesn't really curl my hair all that. It doesn't really curl my hair all that, you know. It tends to, like, give it, like, a little curl at the bottom. And this is just, like, meh. Not really a lot. So, definitely get bigger perm rods. This is for more short hair, you know. Like, maybe, I don't know. Um, after buzz. Oh. I don't know. So, now time to get to this box right here. This section. Our last section. So, the first thing I have here is... A, um, a color bowl. Oh my god, why is that there? I don't care. Okay, there we go. The next thing I have is another color bowl. I don't particularly like this one just because when I'm working with it, it slides a lot because the silicone on the bottom is very smooth. And the silicone on this one is very, um, it has like a grip to it. There's no, there's not much grip here. <clears throat> I got this at Sally's and this was given to me by one of my educators. Bless her heart. Petra, shout out. Um, oh, I, I forgot to do something else. So in the section where my styling tools were, I have like a whole bunch of like cards from like um, salons. Oh my God. I can't believe I still have these here. So many. And I, oh, I also have like, oh, this will see. One of my old educators, she gave this to us, I think, on my first day of school, like if we needed to contact her or something. Um, she no longer works with uh, um, at, the, uh, at the salon I work at, um, I go to school at. She moved, at. she moved back to Wisconsin, but she's an absolute sweetheart. I love her. Karina, if you're watching this, I love you. Anyway, so still going on this one. 
what else I have in here is um I have a brush that was given to me at the job fair. This like reminds me of one of like the dollar store brushes, really. Can you see me? Oh, there we go. Hey. Um, I never really use this, but I just have it in there. And I also have my detangling comb. Obviously, people know how much I love this because it works wonders. And of course, now you can see the pockets. So if you look at the pockets right there, there's four pockets. And my brush is spelled and my dog got scared, which is hilarious. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Okay. So I'm going to start from, I think, right here and then move this way. So the first little pocket all I have I, all I mainly have here is tail combs tail combs these are for of course these are for more like thicker to coarse hair textures tail comb tail comb tail comb um and then I have just more tail combs I really like tail combs just because I like to use the tail part so I could just I it's a, it's easier for me to section my hair especially when I don't have nails See, look at that tail comb tail comb and then this one's broken so is this one I don't know why I keep them I'm just a hoarder of combs basically a lot of these were my mom's when she went to beauty school so I just took them from her I never bought a comb in my life so thanks mama no way I think she got scared she just wants to go down say hi to the camera baby okay here and then next to the tail combs are this is my my mom gave me this also when she was in beauty school um it is a con air um, board, board bristle brush and this is for round brush and this is for like of course coarser hair textures curly hair textures like I don't know um, really curly hair textures <laughs> not really for fine hair because um, this has a little bit of grip to it so um, and next to that are the combs with all the teeth in it um, I do know that these two were given to me by, no, one of them was in my a cosmetology kit and one of them was given to me by one of my girlfriends at the salon. So I have these two combs. And then, um, I do believe that this was given to me, these two were given to me at a job fair, so. And then this, I believe, was also given to me by one of my girlfriends at the salon. She, I don't know why, she just wanted to give me combs, I guess. Maybe she, I guess because she knows that I love combs. That I could, I like, I basically have a collection of combs. And I think all these were my mother's combs. I really like this one because it's a big comb and it's really good to grab hair that's like matted and stuff. It's really good for detangling. Um, so yeah. Um, I had two, I had two, I know I had two other blue combs, but I brought them to the salon because like I'm out of blue combs. And last but not least, the final section, which is right here. So what I have in here are, oh, I have quite a bit of stuff. I didn't even know. So I have a paddle brush in here. Um, it's a cheap one because it, this, when I brush too hard, like this ends up like getting undone, you know, like right here. Um, I just crazy glue it and it's brand new. So. I got this at TG Maxx. I loved it because it was blue. Um, I also have another round brush here. I don't normally use it, um, to be honest. Yeah, I never really used it. Uh, my mom gave me this also. This was in her cosmetology kit, I think. So, thanks, mom. And this is something I don't expect. Um, I have two Afro picks, or that's what you call it. Um, my mom has these because her hair is kind of goes up like an Afro in a way. It's very poofy. So she, so of course, like she uses it to style her hair. And of course, my brother back then he used to have really curly hair. So he used to use the Afro picks to like keep his hair in check. And I also have another comb, which is for, of course, more coarser hair textures. And then, of course, the little Afro picks. Um, like I said, my mom, my brother, I never really used combs on my hair when I had like, I used to have Afro hair as well. I never used combs like this, but, um, you know, my mom used to have them around the house. And yeah, I remember this specifically. So she gave me this just in case I needed to be like, to someone's little Afro. Anyway, that is all I have in my caddy. Um, so, yeah, like, hopefully someone found this interesting. I mean, I don't know. I just, like, I don't know why. I just, like, I find little stuff like this so interesting because I guess, like, since I do hair, like, I want to see what everybody else has in their stuff. Like, let's compare and contrast, you know? So, that is just all I got to say. Better say, now I got to put all this shit back. No, I think it's pretty good. Okay, so anyway, until next time. Mm, bye.